Just want to thank everyone for coming out today for this special announcement and uh, introduce our guests to my left, General Superintendent and CEO of the Chicago Park District, Mike Kelly, Notre Dame Vice President and Director of Athletics, Jack Swarbrick, Wisconsin Director of Athletics, Barry Alvarez, and Green Bay Packers President and Chief Executive Officer, Mark Murphy. We're here to formally announce a pair of games between two college football powers at two tremendous venues. On October 3rd, 2020, Notre Dame and Wisconsin will square off at Lambeau Field in Green Bay. The following year, on September 25th, 2021, the two teams will meet at Soldier Field here in Chicago. It's the resumption of a series that saw the two teams play 16 games between 1900 and 1964. I'd like to now turn it over to our distinguished guests for some opening comments before we get to questions. We'll start with Coach Alvarez. Thanks, Brian. And I also would like to thank all of you for coming out this afternoon for this uh, exciting announcement uh, of the Wisconsin Notre Dame series. Um, we're, we're, we at, at Wisconsin are honored to uh, have the privilege to play a, uh, a program with the tr rich tradition of Notre Dame. Uh, this has been a, a while in the works. It's taken a while to, to put this together, but uh, we're, we're very excited about it. We've had the opportunity in the last few years to play at both Soldier Field and Lambeau uh, and found that it was a tremendous experience for our student athletes and our fans and coaches. I know uh, our staff and football team are extremely excited about uh, these future games. So um, with that, I'll turn this over to Jack. Thanks, Coach. Uh, I want to echo Barry's thanks to so many people who helped make this happen. Uh, the Chicago Par Parks District, uh, the Green Bay Packers, um, Under Armour and hosting us here today, uh, but especially Wisconsin and Barry for um, these, these things are always a Rubik's Cube when you're trying to figure out how to put them together and you one piece of it moves and you got to go back and try and refigure it and uh, we had to stick with it um, but it, it is in, in so many regards came together exactly as we wanted it to and I think it'll be a great experience. When, when we're trying to make scheduling decisions we have three goals. The, the first is the experience for our students who play football. Uh, the second is the competitive ramifications of the game. And the third is, how does it advance the university? What's, what, what are the connections? What's the story? Uh, I don't know that we could have scheduled uh, a game against an opponent in two venues that could have hit those marks more effectively than this two-game series. Uh, there's so many connections here, especially meaningful for me in this month to, uh, to have this announcement come so shortly after the passing of Ara Parsegian, because Ara's first game as Notre Dame's head coach was at Madison against Wisconsin. And the connections continue between these two schools in a host of ways. Of course, all the coach Alvarez contributed as a member of the national championship staff at Notre Dame. Heck, one of my most valued literary possessions is Doc Meanwell and Newt Rockney's book. Um, one of the first things given to me when I, when I started the job. So these are, these are two schools with a host of reasons to play each other who will play in two iconic venues and I think deliver a great experience for our students. So again, to Wisconsin and to all of you here today, thank you. Mark? Thank you, Jack. Yeah, we, uh, on behalf of the Packers and Lambeau Field, we're really excited uh, to be hosting uh, these uh, this two-game series, the one game at Lambeau and Soldier Field, between two storied uh, programs. You know, I, I think uh, this is going to be great for the game of football. I think uh, you know, have two, uh, as I said, storied college football programs, uh, two playing in the two oldest stadiums, uh, historic and iconic stadiums uh, in the NFL. And also, uh, you know, I think is the best rivalry in the NFL between the Bears uh, Bears and the Packers. Uh, we've played each other for almost 100 years now, and we're exactly tied. So that uh, uh, gives you an idea. It's a pretty darn good uh, uh, rivalry. You know, in, in Lambeau Field, uh, obviously, uh, we're, we're going to be really honored to, to host the first uh, game between these two schools since 1964. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think the, uh, obviously, Lambeau is named after Curly Lambeau, who had a 
was a uh, football player, uh, albeit a short career at uh, Notre Dame, but uh, there's a strong connection there. Obviously, uh, we've had uh, quite a few players over the years from both uh, Notre Dame and Wisconsin. And uh, you know, we, this last year was kind of the first time we got into hosting college football games. We hosted, through Barry's work, we were able to secure a game, uh, two game series, uh, one uh, down in Houston, and then uh, last year we uh, hosted Wisconsin and LSU. Thought that was very successful. Uh, and that was the first college game that we'd hosted at Lambeau Field since 1983. Some of you may not remember the Lombardi Memorial Series between uh, Fordham, uh, Fordham University and St. Norbert College. Uh, needless to say, we, we drew a little better for the LSU Wisconsin. So um, we're really excited. I think it's, uh, it's going to be great for the state of Wisconsin. You know, you're looking ahead to, uh, to 2020. It's going to be uh, just a great time of year to, for sports fans in Wisconsin, in addition to Badger games uh, in September, and then, of course, this game, uh, our games uh, in the season, and then uh, the Whistling Straits will be hosting the Ryder Cup the weekend before, uh, before the Notre Dame-Wisconsin game. So it's going to be a great, uh, great time. And the other, by 2020, uh, we're catching up with Chicago. I know Green Bay is, doesn't have quite as, quite as few amenities as uh, quite as few amenities or amenities as Chicago, but uh, with the development around the stadium, particularly our Titletown district, that will be up and running in 2020 and uh, something we're really excited about. And lastly, I, I just wanted to thank uh, so many people uh, that really had to, to come together to work this out. Paul Banyol from our staff uh, really led, uh, led our team and did a great job with it. And I want to thank both uh, athletic directors, both Jack and, uh, and Barry, just did, did a great job, and you know I know these are difficult decisions. Uh, and as Jack said, it's kind of a Rubik's cube. These schedules are done well in advance, and uh, but particularly Barry uh, just has been great, to, great to work with. And this series would not have come about if it were not for Barry, with his strong connections with uh, uh, obviously Notre Dame and Wisconsin, and uh, the great relationship that uh, that we have with Barry uh, with the Packers. So I know you all want to get to questions, but uh, I just want to echo everyone else's uh, comments on behalf of Mayor Emanuel, the city of Chicago. I cannot thank enough Mark and uh, Jack and, of course, Coach Alvarez's support on this. Um, I do want to recognize Tim LaFever and my entire team at the Park District at, and SMG who runs the stadium. Uh, we certainly know how to put on a show um, in the Chicago Park District. We're certainly associated with kids and our programs, but... Uh, you know, Lollapalooza, the MLS All-Star Game, and uh, we've got Coldplay coming in a couple of days. Um, these are great events that we do. And uh, I think the one point I really want to make um, is that put a, a human face on it. All the revenue from Soldier Field and from this game goes back into the kids of Chicago. We serve hundreds and hundreds of thousands of kids playing youth football, arts, dance, uh, all those after-school programs that we clamor so much for. Um, they're in the Chicago Park District, and you can't scholarship those kids without games like Notre Dame and Wisconsin. So um, I really from uh, sincerely cannot thank all of you enough for bringing this game back to Soldier Field. Uh, my only regret is it's 2021. Uh, I don't know about you all, but I'm ready for football, and uh, I can't wait for this game. So with that, I'll turn the mic back over and uh, for questions. So we'll go ahead and take questions. I've got a mic here. I'll pass it along. If you could... Uh, address your question to someone uh, in particular. Jack, uh, I'm curious if either of these games count as a Shamrock Series game for Notre Dame. Both will. Both will. So you'll be the you'll be the host team in no Lambeau? no we in what the the hosting really related to television, right? And so NBC will broadcast the first game from Lambeau, and the Big Ten holds the rights to the second game. We will designate both as a Shamrock game for us for purposes of all the other university activities that go on during the weekend. And then for Barry, you know, with your connection with Notre Dame, did you look at a series with Notre Dame earlier when either you were the coach or during your time as athletic director? When I was the coach slash athletic director, I think Jack and I uh, did visit. Uh, I knew that he was making some adjustments. <clears throat> with Michigan and Purdue, or poss the possibility of Purdue at that time. And we visited, but just weren't able to, nothing really opened up that worked. And that's, as Jack said, there, it, it's a Rubik's Cube. 
there are so many things that have to fall into place in scheduling, and it just never worked out until, until we were able to put this together. Uh, Barry, can you talk about just how this kind of developed from, uh, like you said, you were, you know, trying to get a series with Notre Dame for a long time to having the games at Lambeau and at Soldier Field. How did that kind of develop? Well, I've, I've worked, Mark and I have worked together. Mark uh, has talked to me for several years about uh, possibly moving a game, uh, a neutral site game to Lambeau. Uh, as, you know, as, as you all know, we opened last year with, with LSU the first time. And, and um, so we wanted to keep open discussion with that. Jack made the initial contact about possibly putting a series together and he was they were interested in playing in Lambeau Field and so that initiated the talks and and proceeded to to this Jack uh, you have this game you have Northwestern next year um, Ohio State I think in the out years I is playing Big Ten teams or more teams in the Midwest a, a focal point for you guys in scheduling? Has it changed at all in the last few years? No, it hasn't. It hasn't changed. We we want we would like annually to have a Big Ten opponent on our schedule, and and, and with this game we we satisfy that well into the future, um, and that's important to us. It's a it's a premier conference, obviously, and as we attempt to to create a body of work which makes a case for our inclusion in the college football playoff. We want to be able to have a marker in a game against the Big Ten, against the SEC. We will always have Pac-12 and ACC markers by virtue of our scheduling agreements. So yeah, very, very important to us. By the way, that, that would have been a pitch if Barry were still on this selection committee for the for the college football playoff. Coach Alvarez, you see a lot of these games, you know, like last year, the Wisconsin LSU, a lot of these kickoff games of the college football season. Do you see this maybe as something that you're going to want to continue for Wisconsin in the years to come? We will uh, continue to look into games. Uh, we won't do it every year, but it's, it's something if it works, if it makes sense, uh, that we would consider doing it in the future, but not every year. Any other, any other questions? You had mentioned um, that it's great for the student athletes. Can you just tell us a little bit about what, what the response will be from the student athletes? You said it's a great experience. Why do you think it is playing in NFL stadiums and, and how exciting this is for everybody? Either Jack or well, both. We, we can both ha answer that. Um, you know, we, we played now in Houston, in Dallas, Lambeau last year. You can imagine the majority of our team is from the state of Wisconsin. They grew up, you know, watching the Packers and watching the Badgers. Um, every Sunday they watch the Packers. For them to have the opportunity, we went up in the spring and practiced there, spent a day there to – familiarize our, our team with, with the surroundings and the field, et cetera, uh, to play a game there. And the atmosphere turned into a college atmosphere. And the excitement of it and, the, and, and just the electricity around Green Bay and in the stadium was truly special for our athletes. When we played in Soldier Field, it was the same thing. We had a tremendous, uh, we had a tremendous following of our, of our alums uh, and fans who came. The atmosphere was good. They know about, you know, they see the stadium. They, they, they watch the NFL. Um, it's exciting for a college athlete to, to play in these venues and for our fans to be there. Yeah, I, I think it's a very big benefit to the students. Uh, in recent years, we've played in Fenway Park. Uh, we've played in Yankee Stadium. Um, we've played in Soldier Field. And the reaction of our students to those opportunities, playing in iconic venues like that, is, is, creates an extra dimension, an extra excitement. And certainly, both of these will do that for us. The other thing that's great about these games is in both games, the stadium will be split 50-50. And, and that creates a unique atmosphere. That's the same atmosphere you get in a national championship game. And, and the energy in a stadium when you do that, and uh, 
both sides will be very full uh, with, with a very robust secondary market, I'm sure. Um, it's going to be a great atmosphere.